Getting set for race number one from Red George and Charlottetown tonight as the horses swing in behind the Metro Home Building Center starting gate. Vance Cameron, they don't come much better than this for Standard Bread Racing. Up to you for the opener. The absolutely perfect night for Standard Bread's Mr. McPhee, and here is the Thursday night opener at the historic driving park in Charlottetown. I'll bet you I'll beat you, Western Lily, Brookdale, Sandy. Lindale, Pixie, Red Dirt, Diamond, Emma's Delight. Salzbrook Pixie timing again on the grandstand side. Eight across the gate to open it up. Post time. Rough and facing. Brookdale Sandy leaving on the rail. I'll bet you I'll beat you. Western Lily will be third to the turn. Coming up fourth on the outside. That is Salzbrook Pixie. Then up the rail and racing from fifth. On the inside is Lindale Pixie. Red Dirt Diamond is sixth. Timing again on the outside seventh. Now the trailer. That is Emmett's Delight along the back stretch, and I'll bet you I'll beat you in line to Mike McWiggan, their quarter pole leading, tucked away in the two hole, that's the long shot, Brookdale Sandy. Third up the rails, a race into the turn is Western Lily, then fourth along the inside is Salzbrook Pixie, racing from fifth is Lindale Pixie, 29 seconds flat, opened it up, and the control of the moment, Philly is on the point, and that's I'll bet you, I'll beat you, and Mike McGuigan, they're going to be the midway point leaders. Second is Brookdale Sandy, third Western Lily, fourth on the outside, Lindale Pixie, Salzbrook Pixie along the rail, fifth, Red Dirt Diamond is sixth, Timing again seventh, Emma's Delight on the outside is a 59 Four for an opening half mile. They arrive at the 5 H next and on the lead. I'll bet you I'll beat you. A racing second is Brookdale Sandy. Third from the outside. That is Lindale Pixie riding the rail fourth. Western Lily. Fifth on the outside is Red Dirt Diamond. On the cone, Salzbrook Pixie stayed in. Nowhere to go. Six. Seventh is Emma's Delight. Now the trailer. That's time and again. Three quarters up in one 31 flat they're down to an eighth of a mile left to go i'll bet you i'll beat you trying to see it home brookdale sandy is second western lily third fourth on the outside that is lindale pixie salzbrook pixie coming up the rail here's a shocker to open it up brookdale sandy and Corey mcpherson on the line in two minutes two fairs Okay, here's the replay for race number one from Red Shores in Charlottetown tonight, brought to you by Universum Media. We thought the one, I'll bet you, I'll beat you, would want to cut this here. That's exactly what happened. But the bigger move was Brookdale Sandy sitting in the two hole for the entire trip. 29, 59, and four. Still, I'll bet you, I'll beat you. Sitting in the two hole, Brookdale Sandy. Three quarters, 131. The four went first, not tonight. And they battle it out down the stretch. It was the one on top, but angling out late was Brookdale Sandy. Yeah, she's going to reach up and win here. Two minutes and two fifths for Corey McPherson. Got the perfect trip, angled out late, and gets the job done in race number one. Brookdale Sandy and McPherson in the Red Shores Winter Circle. Next.
Into the first race winner's circle, number three is Brookdale Sandy, pacing round Philly three by shadow play. Off the rock and roll Hanover Dam, the best of rock and roll. Owned by Bill Kenny of Hunter River and Darla J of Charlottetown, trained by Von Doyle. Corey McPherson's in the driver's seat to guide her to a maiden record tonight of two minutes and two fifths. That's Brookdale Sandy in a Thursday night shocker at Charlottetown.